Did your life just change? Like even just like a little bit? State legislators are done for the year. So what did they get done for you? Better yet, how will it actually affect you and your family? Politics guy Marshall Zellinger takes a look. Uh, there were some record marathon sessions. Hey, uh, the governor and Democrats held a celebratory news um, conference today. I'm really proud of the work our caucus and the Senate caucus did. Hey, House and Senate Democrats did the same thing one hour earlier. Ever heard us say save people money on health care? Hey, the governor did it alone last Friday. What gives? Oh, they're touting their wins. Like state-funded full-day kindergarten starting next school year. So what if you don't have kids? What did lawmakers do that impacts you? There are two bills that passed in the last week that you'll now have a say on when they appear on your ballot in November. One asks you if the state should be allowed to override Tabor and keep money that might otherwise be refunded to you to fund schools and roads. We, from past experience, know that people want a plain language ballot measure. We did that. And they want to know very specifically where the money is going to go. And we did that. The other ballot issue asks if the state should legalize sports betting and then tax it to fund the Colorado water plan. Senate Republicans will hold uh, our press conference tomorrow. You'll notice Republicans were not at these rah-rah news conferences. So we wanted to know, with Democrats in charge, what can Republicans look at and say, even though that Democratic bill passed, Republican voters should be okay with it. Senate Minority Leader Chris Holbert pointed to the paid family leave bill. Instead of the state charging a fee on employee paychecks and to their employers, that bill just became a study. There is no fee tax, and the taxpayers of Colorado, business owners, and people who have jobs, uh, I think, are, are be best served by that bill not passing in its original form, and we definitely affect a change on that. That paid family leave bill will be back next year, and the only thing that might get in its way next year, other Democrats. Kyle, this is an odd year. Not strange, it's literally odd, 2019. There's no election this year, but there is next year, so we can't expect fewer controversial bills in 2020. Yeah, the first year is the year that everybody goes for the red meat, and then the next year it's, it's puppies and unicorns and stuff like that, and maybe paid family leave, as you said. There you go. Thanks, Marshall.